for multiple reasons. Number one, obviously, is my guys. Uh, my guys and Robin, <laughs> they're, they're the best. I mean, we have built our red team from uh, a couple of us who knew what we were doing and a whole bunch of us that didn't <laughs> at the very beginning uh, and turned it into the realistic threat that we can bring to you today. Uh, I like to tell people that the students that graduate from this program are part of like a super secret nerd fraternity. Because when you all go to the real world and you present your resume and the person interviewing you did CCDC five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years ago, and they're all out there in the workforce now, and they're like, you made it to nationals. But they're like, hire him, hire her, they're good, they made it to nationals. Because there's a lot of teams that have never made it past regional. So no matter where you place today, no matter what you felt this weekend, you got to come here. And I got to meet you. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy to meet you. Because I want to make sure that what I give you is a taste of what the real world has to offer. It's bad out there. <laughs> we have rules. There's things they don't let me do. These guys come up with things, and I'm like, no. <laughs> Not nice. You're not allowing this. There's, there's been questions sometimes. It's like, if this escaped the network, what would happen to the world? And we're like, that's a good point. <laughs> because we make things that work, and we have to make things that don't exist. Because if they existed, you guys are good. You go looking for things, and you make profiles and signatures. Some of you guys profile us. One of my favorite things that happened one year is that the student team had actually seen the red team or at a previous event and noticed and actually said, I know this is this person. And in their incident report, they said, Lieutenant Shields did this. <laughs> and they were right. <laughs> That's awesome, because you guys are freaking Good. You do crazy stuff to us. And we get really frustrated sometimes. And we're like, there's no way that's real. That would never pass in the real world. I'm like, yes, but that's the game, and good on them. <laughs> because you guys play by your rules, we play by our rules, and in the end, the best team wins. Because remember this, you don't win by beating the red team. You win by winning the competition, doing the best in checks having the best CEO interview, getting the least points by us, but we're gonna get in. That's a fact, you can't stop what's going to happen. Even though we have zero knowledge of what's gonna happen when we start, even though we have no pre-knowledge of your systems, your servers, or anything else, the odds are in our favor at the beginning to get in. But the odds are in your favor to lock it down, know what's normal, and get it done. There we go. Um, if you can't see it, it says enter a new unit's password. Red team, please know. <laughs> And then they changed it later to be feeling bad. <laughs> Welcome to Nationals. <laughs> now, I have lots of people who come to me. <laughs> if you can't see it, it says please stop in the front of me. <laughs> I have lots of people that come to me who have never been to Nationals before. So I have a whole set of slides for you first times. Um, and they always say the same thing. They say, oh my god, it was nothing like this in my region. Good! That's the point. This is it. This is, we're, this is the end boss, the final stage. And we have to bring that threat because you guys get smarter. This year, 60% of you were returning teams. Last year was only two. Last year was amazing for us. <laughs> this year we had to work. Some people say, hey, what do you do on the red team? I yell a lot. 
<laughs> Sometimes more than I want to, uh, because it's my job to make sure that these guys <laughs> do what they're supposed to do. We have rules in the Red Chamber, because we want to make sure that some very important things happen. It's got to be really hard to read that. I apologize. So number one, if this is your first time for 14 to hear this, let me explain to you how I make sure it is my job that you get the most adequate amount of attention and love and caring from your red team. <laughs> because I don't want anyone to feel left out. It's important to me that each and every one of you, if it's your first or your fifth time, that you got the same amount of attention as the first. So, what I do is I build the teams, and the red teams are assigned to you. Meaning that there are three people who throughout this weekend have watched every bad move you made. <laughs> they know you so well. They know what you Googled, they know your typos, they know what you should have memorized. They know what you did right, what you did wrong, and they have questions, and I'm sure you do too. And yesterday I encouraged them to find you. And the reason that I do this is for two reasons. Number one, I want to make sure that at the end of this event, one, you're friends, because you know each other really well by now. But two, they can give you specific information about how you can get better. We want to see you get better. We want to, when this competition is over and you go in the real world and you work with people, they say, wow, they're good. How did they figure that out? How do they know to do that? How are they able to go so quick and handle this pressure? And they say, well, this is easy. I've already gone through this, but in the simulation. Because that's what it takes. And the, most people never get this chance to actually go through this and go through it and, and look through it and be able to walk away without liability or a lawsuit, uh, notification <laughs> events, uh, government investigations. Uh, so congratulations, you got that freebie there. Um, but the hardest thing for me is I have to take, uh, this year I had 30 people, and I have to find out what mix of those people best represents a skill set that will be correctly represented across every team so everyone equally gets the same type of treatment. And to do that, we do a lot of work. Not only are we building custom toolkits, custom frameworks, but we're also building custom infrastructure you're gonna see a picture of later uh, to make sure that we are bringing you the best experience possible because you guys keep getting better. And because you get better, we have to get better. The things that I got away with as a red team were 10 years ago, you guys would laugh at. And now we have to keep getting better. So, the old plan. For those of you who are returning teams, you know that there was a day one, day two strategy. I knew that you knew that. And I started hearing from certain teams, Dave, we know you don't do anything to us on day one. So I don't have to worry about it. So I can just focus on my engines, and nothing bad's gonna happen. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I sat there and I started thinking to myself, how can I change the red team strategy without tripping up over our long goal, which is having an amazing day two? <laughs> and so I thought to myself, you have these new POS systems. You don't know what to do with them. We don't know what to do with them. And so it was funny, the black team was like, hey, have you figured out this and that? I'm like, no, we just did that. We just put an head on it, and we got rid of it. It's way easier that way. That software is weird. <laughs> Now, if you heard me talk before, you'll know that I didn't just do this to be funny, which it is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and the music was great, the orange team was mad. They had to hear it because you guys were really slow responding to it. <laughs> you, they should be mad at you, not us, because we just did it you know, a couple times. You guys waited to get there. Um, but it was a distraction. We wanted you to freak out by running your POS, and for the training teams to go, I don't understand what's happening right now, it's day one, something's supposed to happen, no, 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 no. We wanted you to freak out and focus on the POS systems, leaving your infrastructure to us. <laughs> Many of you, unfortunately, got distracted. So, expect changes to occur. You game us, we game you. We want to make sure that we don't become something that can be predicted, something that you can expect certain rules to be followed. We have to keep the challenge <coughs> real. But day two, day two doesn't change. <laughs> day two is wonderful. Day two is when you work all of your work 
And if you can't see that screenshot, uh, that's an ESXi server with no VMD keys left. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I'll talk about why we're so good at that this year. So what was the point of all this for those of you who have never been here before? You have to learn that you can't wait for the red team to show up to do something. You have to learn to look for the bad guys. Because the real bad guys, the bad guys out there that are really good, they're not going to just suddenly pop up a pony on your web page. They're not going to send you an email that says, hey, by the way, you got your stuff. They're going to silently take your information. They're going to silently take you out of the job. They're going to put your company out of business. And they're never going to let you know. You'll probably get a call from either the Secret Service, maybe Visa, the FBI, that says, by the way, uh, for the last month, in the interest of national security, uh, we were watching your network, and you're totally boned. <laughs> <laughs> but we're done with our work, so we decided we'd let you know. <laughs> so you can deal with it. You have to look for them. You have to learn how to look for them. So knowing how to find what's normal, what's abnormal, what's important, how to watch your network traffic. That's what we're trying to teach you on day one. Because if you can find us on day one, day two won't be so bad. And we make it really hard to make sure you can find all of us because the real world is the same way. But on day two, it's a different hustle. Because you'll know where we are on day two. We're angry on day two. But we want to teach you to calm down, to stop thinking that reinstalling or reverting is going to fix the issue. I heard giggles, yes. <laughs> you know what she did. <laughs> you scripted it, we scripted it. <laughs> we want you to learn, to learn the root cause. Fix the problem. Find out how we're getting in. If your database goes down once, that's interesting. If it goes down 100 times in a row, that's a problem. And if changing the permissions doesn't fix it, it's a different problem. <laughs> so if you see your web server running a shell script, maybe you should pay attention. And if you don't pay attention, then maybe I'll just start yelling at you by running my own shell script. They just call to my back door over and over and over and over and over, hoping for the love of God at some point to lift the logs. <laughs> Kick me out, because other ways I might get in to show you. So let me tell you about day one. <laughs> it was a beautiful morning. You can't read this, I'm so sorry. So at, at T0, time zero, started with that. Oh, we know nothing. We have nothing about your infrastructure. We don't know what IP address or what systems. We don't know what services you're running, anything like that. We start our scans. My goal, and what we have made the team focus on, starting the competition, is getting what we call a perfect start. And that perfect start requires that we get it in as quickly as possible and spread all the persistence mechanisms that we've deployed and made just for you. Uh, this year, that took three minutes. So, at three minutes in, we were in with all sorts of ways to stay. Which is why I say, don't think that it's a plausible strategy in this competition to just block out the red team. This is not. It, unless we get a delayed start, and trust me, I'm gonna fight like hell against that. It's not going to happen. You have to live with the reality of having a compromised environment and learn how to deal with that and get rid of it. At T minus 10 minutes, we found out we had some different problems which is why maybe some of you saw a more noisy red team than usual this year, a lot of our reverse shells and all that. But don't worry, we had lots of other stuff that was there. And by lunchtime, I said, hey, we're so far in, let's take down the PMS. Shells ran a record high. <laughs> Everything is great. Uh, that says Windows, Linux, Solaris, FreeBSD. ESXi is the shortest one because there was less of those servers. <laughs> We had a risk management plan. Uh, the top one there says students will find a backdoor probability high and impact low. <laughs> this one says students will find two backdoors, probability medium, impact low. Third one says students will find all my backdoors, probability low, impact high. And the last one says I will take down the system and miss my backdoors, probability high. <laughs>
So I like to refer to what we do as layering for systems. You can think about it like a wall. I'm building a wall of backdoors. And my biggest brick are all the reverse shells and persistence is calling home to me. And that's great, but you can, you can stop that, and then you do. So then we have other things like DNS beacons and inbound shells. And then at the very bottom is the funny things that we do. So how many of you noticed that your firewall kept going away and your hosts? Yeah, yeah, that was us. Sorry. Uh, how many of you kept noticing the users kept showing up? Yeah, that was us. How many of you kept noticing, I don't know, weird services kept popping up? Yeah, so what we do now is we keep adding different layers, we have different toolkits. And you know what a pain in the butt it is to create regression testing, have five different frameworks running on the same host, make sure they don't crash each other? It takes a lot of work. We do a lot for you. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a lot of work to give you a good experience. We appreciate you. So highlights from some of the custom stuff we did this year, things that you should be interested in. Um, the ES6i implant was probably my personal favorite. Um, because not only did we get into your ESXi server, but then we backdoored the ESXi server, so we had a password that always worked no matter what you changed your password to. And then if you managed to fix that, uh, there was other ways to get back in. We had other services that were listening, waiting for us to phone home and talk to it. And it did. Uh, because ESXi is, is hard to deal with, and it took us a lot of work to get this done. But because of this, about uh, half of you had a ESXi server controlled by us, uh, which made for an amazing day to work. Um, how many of you noticed that we were uploading our OVMs into your virtual infrastructure? Yeah, and yeah, that's fun. <laughs> um, there's Jericho, some of you actually found the source for and got real smart. Uh, but basically that was one of our drivers that spread all sorts of systems around the Linux and the Solaris and the VSD systems. Uh, combined with that, we had donation, which was also doing the same things. Again, multiple points of uh, a failure. We want to make sure that we can keep surviving. Uh, we had, of course, Kraken, uh, which is an amazingly scary piece of software and works all the time <laughs> and sends back key logs as well as provides access and the ability to execute commands and very few teams ever really seem to find it. And it's one of my favorite things. Uh, we also had something called uh, Genesis, which was, wait, is that a super driver? So basically, all of us could put all of our payloads in one directory, and we just keep adding in there. And this thing would just bundle them up and just execute them all for us. Because at some point, it's faster to write a wrapper that executes all your droppers rather than doing them all one at a time. Um, how many of you have found f found fun on your computers? Yeah, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it was a worm, and it moved around your network, spreading fun <laughs> for us. Uh, and then there is the Windows Update replacement. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> so when we talk about red team infrastructure, uh, this is what was actually brought this year. It, that's an ESXi cluster. And what we were doing with it uh, is obviously uh, one of the things we had to do was have uh, some ability to keep track of things and provide scans and all the rest. But for the first time ever, the red team room had DHCP. That was kind of cool. And it was cool because we didn't have to manually keep talking networks anymore. All we had to do was refresh our lease and we were magically on a different subnet. That made so much easier for us. Because previously, I would actually have to have like about 10 seconds to decide which IP I wanted. And sometimes I was kind of sentimental about numbers and different things, and that removed all the bias. Um, but yeah, we had a cluster, we had some called Grid, Ford, uh, we had Mr. Wizard that kept the, the, uh, the IP scanning going, and then we actually had an off-site GPU cluster for Patrick Craig. We care. We care a lot. So day two. <laughs> day two was amazing. Um, there have been years in the past where I've had to say things like, some of you have seen us more than others. I don't have to say that to you. Everyone saw us this year. Um, I was very happy about that. That is my, my goal, to make sure everything's equal and uniform. Um, what's different is how you respond to us. So for instance, if something comes up on your screen that says War Games Red Team Edition, <laughs> don't play with us. <laughs> it's a distraction. If the screen comes up and you're fighting with us and then we remove Active Directory from your domain controller, it's not a domain controller anymore. <laughs> If you just trust your systems, and you're just walking around, we're watching. <laughs> when you're talking about your passwords, what you're doing next, watching you write your injects, 
The best is when you write an index that says red team contained, or we kicked them out, <laughs> or watching you type. We laugh and laugh. Don't make deals with us. <laughs> 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 no uniform commerce clause for the red team. We're not required to live up the contracts. We're probably lying. We're not going to give you the system back. It doesn't matter how long your password is, if we can extract it from memory, or if we can just key log it as you type it. So, my point here is worry less about password length and strength. Worry more that we're watching you actually type them in. Focus on network communication persistence. Start thinking about things like, hey, should my domain controller be talking to the Amazon cloud? No, <laughs> it really shouldn't. Should my mail server be visiting a website? Absolutely not. It really shouldn't. So, remember these important things for next year. One, taking the time to find us reduces your overall work. In the end, trust me, it worth this. Changing all the passwords for all the accounts you know we have access to across all the systems really will save you a lot of work. It sucks at first, but trust me, we're really hoping you don't. Like a real intruder, we work as hard as you make us to. Proper egress and ingress filtering reduces your work. Learn to stop reverting your snapshots and figure out how you're getting in the first place. Well, in the end, take less work. Take the training that the sponsors are offering you to learn how to use their tools, because guess what? In the end, if they're sponsoring, you're probably going to get their stuff. <laughs> Just a clue. Just leaving that for you. Learn to watch network traffic. Learn some basic memory analysis to find hidden processes. Find out which processes are talking to the internet. If your printer spool is talking to the internet, <laughs> Probably not good. <laughs> because remember, the red team as a whole is a distraction. We're trying to get you so wrapped up into us that you don't do your injects. And then who wins? Not you. <laughs> so, red team homework. Plan and do the perfect start. Work on not leaving a script that doesn't delete itself and shows you everything you did. Find even more ways to persist. And then my ultimate goal as ranking captain to achieve the all red board. <laughs> the all team coordinated shutdown. And when that day occurs, I will be so happy. <laughs> so until then, see you next year. Good luck to everyone. <laughs>